Tonight, we've put the girls and the gangs on the American agenda. Traditionally, in neighborhoods where gang violence is a way of life, young women have stayed out of the fighting. No more. In the past year or two, police from New York to Los Angeles have had to confront the emergence of female gangs and an equally deadly kind of female violence. Here's Karen Burns. It is Saturday night in L.A., and this 16-year-old who calls herself Shy Girl is getting ready to go out. Her look is critical. It is designed to make a statement. Shy Girl is a force to be reckoned with. Shy Girl and her friends Bandit, Beaver, and Wicked are going out to kick it, to get down, to defend their hood, their neighborhood. They will use whatever it takes. Box cutters, knives, guns, screwdrivers, bottles, Uzis, everything. The violence level is such that as a child I was raised to respect women, uh, women were delicate creatures and so forth and so on. And you come out here and all of a sudden you're seeing uh, guys with their throats cut because they were selling rock at this woman's territory. The gangs call themselves scissors, dirty punks, Kleenex, B-38s, and down and dirty. In defiance and in defense, they have broken away from male gangs, creating a language, a style, and a culture outsiders cannot penetrate. They roam the streets staking out territory, dealing drugs, and asserting their strength and independence. Girls get a gang because they want to be tough to get their power from it. Tough is everything around here. If you're not tough, you just don't make it, you know. Soft people don't make it in this world. It's just, it's the, you can either be the victimizer or the victim. And I choose to be the victimizer. I guess they're losing their value of life, uh, their own and other people's. A lot of times out here, women are treated like property. I mean, they're just something to be used, abused, and thrown out. And I think they're getting tired of it. We want to line up, In 10 years, the FBI says arrests of women for violent crimes have increased by 41 percent, almost twice as much as violent crimes by men. Cops on the streets say that women are often more violent, more brutal than men. And they say much of their crime is now related to gang activity. How come you're in prison? In prison? Because I killed two guys. How did you kill them? Ran them over. You ran them over? I was gang affiliated. I wasn't carrying a weapon, so I just ran them over. It was the best thing to do. Why are girls getting involved in killings now? Because they can get away with it. They're less likely to, like, less likely to be suspected of, of a murder or drive-by shooting or a killing, and they can hide the weapons easier and they get away with it. What if people get killed when you do a drive-by shooting? <laughs> Yeah, there's nothing I can say about that, because a lot of people I know have gotten killed, too, by, like that, you know. Do you ever think about getting killed? Yeah. What would that mean to you? Well, I don't know. If I got killed, well, what could I do about it? If I'm dead, right, I'll be resting in peace. <laughs> Most of the girls we talked to grew up with little love or support, and early on saw their own lives as meaningless. What is perhaps even more disturbing is that many of these girls are now mothers raising a generation nurtured on violence and hate. You're not going to tell me whether you're a good dancer? Could be. Could be. <laughs> in a cramped apartment in the middle of one of L.A.'s most brutal neighborhoods, 18-month-old Johnny sits on his mother's lap. He's chewing a bandana that represents the colors of his mother's gang. A baby born to a crack addict lies ill on a bed nearby. And out on the street, a little girl stands in the cold as drugs are sold around her. What do you want for Cynthia? A better life. What do you mean, a better life? Not being in a gang. What if Cindy sees all this and thinks it's exciting? Well, I mean, we'll try. I mean, all we could do is try to keep her out. But if it happens, it happens. It is estimated that there are now 7,000 female gang members in Los Angeles and thousands more around the country. If these women continue to break with tradition, the children they raise face a future of violence, and so do the rest of us. Karen Burns, ABC News, Los Angeles.
Tomorrow, the second part of our report on women in gangs. More and more of these women trading drugs and turning to murder.